we've got Sky, Marshall, and Chase. Caps for sale, everybody. Five pounds per cap. Five pounds. Would you like a cap, sir? Yeah, it's okay. I can do you a Marshall one for one pound. Okay, I'll take it. Certainly, sir. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Caps for sale. Five pounds per cap. Caps for sale. Excuse me. I'd love to buy a cap. Sky's my absolute favourite character. But I'm so poor. You definitely want to buy one? Of course. But like I said, I'm very poor. Okay then. That'll be ten pounds, please. Boy, you just sold one for one pound. Yeah, but you really want this cap and you'll probably pay more for it than him. But that's not fair. Well, we hear this phrase a lot. But that's not fair. It is not fair. That not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. That's not fair. You might also hear this phrase a lot. Unlucky, life's not fair. Life's not fair. Life is not fair. Life's not fair. <laughs> you can be there. And that is true. Not everything in life is fair. And from our story today, Jesus will teach us to stand up for things that aren't fair. So our story begins with Jesus making a memorable entrance into a town called Jerusalem. arrived at the temple, the church, to worship his father, God. And everything seemed normal. Well, normal for those days. And around the outside of the temple were loads of people buying and selling animals, changing money, for example, from Roman money into Jewish money. Just think of it a bit like a shopping center with a church in the middle. And it was really busy with lots of people buying and selling and changing things. This was normal. This didn't make Jesus angry. But what he noticed next did make him angry. He saw that the people selling animals were charging the poor people more money than they needed to pay. They were practically robbing them. And the people changing money were charging the poor people too much as well. There was nothing they could do about it. Back then, some people needed to change their money into the right currency and most people bought animals as sacrifices as a way of saying sorry to God. Jesus did not like that people were practically robbing the poor. He felt sorry for the poor people and angry at the rich people for taking advantage of the poor. So Jesus said, or probably shouted, my father's house, this temple, should be a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. In a nutshell, church is for praying, not stealing. Jesus stood up for what is right. He fought for justice and fairness. And unfortunately, there are a lot of things in this world that just don't seem fair, but we can help make them better. So what can you do about it? Well, number one, we can try and stop other people from being unfair. Like Jesus in this story, he stood up and he told everyone he did not like the injustice, the unfairness of that situation. We can do that too. Where it's appropriate, we can stand up and say, hey, I don't like what's going on here. This is unfair. Number two, we ourselves can stop treating other people unfairly. Like Jesus, he always treated people with respect. Can we all say that we've done that to every single person we've met? Mm. Number three, sometimes we just can't stop the injustice, the unfairness of a situation. But what we can do is to be there for the person who's having a hard time and just be their friend. Plenty of times in the Bible, Jesus spent time with people who were treated unfairly and he became their friend. That shows me that's a pretty important thing to do. 
So are you ready for a challenge? This week, make two lists, either in your head or on paper. First list of all the things that you have ever said are unfair in life. Like, it's not fair I don't get to stay up late every single night. It's not fair I don't get more sweets after I've brushed my teeth. It's not fair that I get homework. And the second list, all the things in this world that really are unfair. Like people being treated badly just because of what they look like. People being robbed and violence. If you can, talk to an adult about what would be on both of your lists and ask them what would be on theirs. Just remember that God loves you so much. Some of this plant is dead.